Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Afro Gardener. There has been a crazy heat wave for the past four days. I haven't made any videos because I ain't even really been outside. I'm not even finna lie. Um, it's been so hot and the humidity has been so thick. I have not even come outside. Um, I might have come out to just kind of glance and I've went back in the house. It literally felt like when you stepped outside, like you were stepping into the uh, into a sauna. It's pretty good today. The high is 82 today, so it's not bad. It's pretty good. The humidity is not bad. It's not bad at all today. But the past four days, it's been like unbearable. Um, we got all the way up to about 98 degrees Fahrenheit, and with the humidity, it was just so. It was just like you. I can't even describe it. And that's really how our um, our summers can be. Um, it is supposed to cool off. It's, it's a lot cooler today, but it's supposed to be right back up between um, Sunday and Wednesday. With Wednesday, I think the high is supposed to be 100. It's just been crazy. But um, yesterday, in addition to the crazy heat wave, yesterday we got a super random windstorm. And with no rain, like the wind was just blowing like crazy. We were out, we weren't even home. And the wind was just blowing like crazy, like blowing stuff all over the place. Um, it was, the, the sky was dark. It was like just this crazy, super random windstorm. And so when I got home, I looked at my corn and look, a lot of the stalks have fallen over. Um, a lot of them are hanging down like this. And um, like I have told you guys um, in like some more recent videos, this is my first time having corn that has actually um, looked like corn. Um, last year, um, they just on they only got a little bit. They didn't even really get very tall. The year before that, the rabbits kept eating them down. And so um, I don't even really know what to do about the fallen corn. So I'm just really gonna leave it alone and see if that in a couple of days it doesn't try to stand back up um i thought of maybe adding in some um some soil around each one of the stalks but i'm not sure i'm hoping that it'll raise back up um the windstorm was yesterday so maybe in a couple of days it'll bring itself back up i'm really not sure however in the midst of everything laying down y'all look at this beauty She's well over taller than me and she's not even open yet. She's gonna be gorgeous. But anyways, um, yeah, it's just been kind of crazy. I really just wanted to uh, hop on here and kind of talk to you guys about the heat. Now here in zone 7A where I live, the heat and the humidity kind of does a wonder on um, the plants. Um, I had several plants that I had to go ahead and pull out because they were just really struggling with the heat and the humidity and the heat and the humidity really creates an environment for blight and everything so really if you're experiencing um high temperatures if you're experiencing humidity as well i don't know um what your zone might be but um if you are able kind of step outside and look at your plants make sure that um any plants that are hanging down that you go ahead and tie them up anything that um you know just kind of double check the airflow because it's in it's in um environments and temperatures like this where blight comes up spotted mildew things like that and you want to kind of catch those things really early and so what i've been doing is kind of just walking around the garden kind of just laying eyes on everything just to make sure that things like that aren't setting in and kind of taking a mental note of what I might need to, um, you know, if I need to make a home remedy or whatever I need to do. Now, everything over here is just fine. Um, however, the other garden, this area gets a lot of shade. Sorry, I know I'm spinning. This area gets a lot of shade. And so I don't believe that it would be as bad over here. However, in the upper garden over there, it gets a lot more sun. And so um, I kind of walk through and I check and make sure um, that all the plants are still thriving. Um, some of them have been yellowing, some things like beans or whatever that have been in the containers a while, but that's to be expected. But everything else is looking pretty good. But you want to kind of just walk through and make sure 
that everything is as it should be. This is a sun striped squash and this one in particular has been just kind of really struggling. So I pruned off all of the dead leaves. Um, I will be fertilizing this plant just to see if it will pop back and come back. I'm not really sure why it's struggling so much. Um, I'm not sure. I have two squash in here, which it should be able to handle. There are many fresh leaves coming up and I even see some squash babies on the bottom. However, it's just really struggling right now at this, at this point. Um, this plant also fell down. It was hanging all the way over from the winds yesterday. And so whenever you see things like that, you wanna just maybe take a stick and some twine. That's what I had on hand. And you wanna tie those plants up just to secure them and make sure and keep them off the ground. And um, also check the lower leaves of your tomatoes. Make sure they're not hanging too low, um, especially with um, the humidity and the heat, just to make sure that it's not a breeding ground for diseases. And really just look at it. Um, I try to come out and look at my garden every day, but it was, <laughs> I would rarely say it's too hot to come outside, but it was like too hot to come outside. And I didn't want my kids out here because it was so hot. Um, like we didn't even, we didn't go anywhere. Like they're like, can we go to the park? I was like, no, cause it's just way too hot. Um, yeah, and so everything is looking really good. Um, I will show you guys. Let me look at the bottom of these tomatoes. Like right here. I'll turn it around. Let's see. Here we do have some yellowing and browning. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that off. It is some of the lower leaves. But before it spreads, I just want to go ahead and cut that off. Because we really don't want that. And um, also, in the areas where I have already pruned these they're um they're trying to grow back and so what i'll do is i'll just go back through and i'll prune them again no no problems also um the animals if you have animals they also um struggle with the heat as well and so um if you have chickens like i do um you want to make sure that you're changing out their water um, if they if the water is too warm, they won't drink it and then they can overheat I really I noticed that they were um, getting a little hot whenever they um, started opening their mouth They kind of like <sighs> And then I went ahead and I changed the water kept an eye on them y'all they're getting so big I'm about to show you guys, but also um, Provide them shade this area gets a whole lot of shade and they're in the run right now and there's a nice cool breeze um, they also were going in, back inside the coop for more shade when it was hot. And I had a little pool out here for them, but they just kicked dirt in it. And I um, put some ice in their um, water just to make sure that they were cool. But you yourself as a gardener, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure you're drinking water, staying hydrated, and take breaks um, if you're going to be outside. Um, I am going to be outside this upcoming week because I have a, a lot of things I need to get done out here. And so um, I'll be doing the same thing. They have gotten so big, you guys. We have not lost any more chickens, by the way. They have gotten so big. Peep the cones. She's looking particularly plump. They're all just getting so big and they're so cute. And she's popped over there. I put ice in their water as well. I've been hanging it up, but I haven't, I didn't hang it up today. I just put it over there. And they're doing really well. Hi, pumpkin. Every time I come up here, they think I'm giving them food. Yeah, you spoiled. I think that that's our rue right there, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we even have one. I don't know. Do you, What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you think that we have a rooster, because I'm not even sure. If we have all hens, that's fine. But I thought we might have one rooster. I, my money's on that one. That one right there with the orange feet. 
She, he's the only one that has orange feet, so I'm thinking that that's the boy right there. But I'm not sure again, you know. Hi. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.